I'm about to push my body further than I ever have. Look at that shadow. That's the shadow of a warrior hunter. Everything's against us out here. Whoever can thrive the longest, whoever can push through, wins. That is a look at Alone, the 11th season of the hit History Channel series that places 10 survivalists in the freezing cold of Inuvik in the Arctic Circle. Equipped with just 10 basic survival tools, the contestants attempt to become the last one standing and take home a $500,000 U.S. grand prize. Saskatchewan's Michaela Carrier is one of this season's Canadian contestants and joins us now. Welcome to the morning show. But... I got to talk about this other show. What drew you to that show? What drew me to this show was the extreme uh, challenge of being alone and uh, testing all my skills that I've collected out through my life and to really showcase being an Indigenous woman uh, to, the, to the nation and showing these skills. Yeah, Michaela, let's talk a bit more about that because, of course, tomorrow is National Indigenous Peoples Day. Can you talk to us a bit about your Cree Metis heritage, what it means to you and to represent your community on a program like this? On my dad's side, I am Cree Metis, and it means a lot to me because this is how I grew up. This is my lifestyle. 24-7 uh, and to showcase it to everybody is a really proud moment for me. I'm proud where I'm from, Cumberland House, Cree Nation, and uh, the Saskatchewan River Delta. Someone to show that, that to the world big, is a great moment for me and my family. And, and Michaela, tell us about those skills that you brought to the table because so many reality shows focus on contestants fighting with each other while this one really focuses on the skill sets of the participants. Tell us more about what you brought to this. My background is from trapping and hunting. I grew up on a hunting lodge, so I've had all sorts of experiences hunting different animals. Um, I also am a forager and I've learned all about the medicines and food of plants from the land. Um, I've also spent a lot of time fishing, especially with a fishing net. Um, and I have uh, extra skills of being a canoe river guide, so I've been out there uh, taking care of people with their medical needs and navigation. And I also have a secret skill of sewing. So a lot of my clothes you see on the show, I've made myself. Oh, wow. Very cool. Very cool. It seems like you are well suited and ready for this challenge. Michaela, I'm going to be honest with you. This show alone, it scares me. <laughs> it, it really scares me. I mean, it's dangerous, this show. You got the bears, you got wolves. They're all around. You got the cold temperatures you're dealing with. Uh, you know, there's the isolation as well. Contestants leave only if they uh, quit voluntarily or suffer an injury or an illness. Were you ever yourself scared while you were on the show? Uh, honestly, I was pretty scared going into the show. But I believe that you have to do things that scare you, you know, at least every day, because that's where the true opportunity of adventure lies in, especially when you're out in the wilderness. And I just embraced that every day while I was out there. And honestly, it gives me a thrill. I was out there, yeah, with bears and wolves surrounding me. And I can't wait for you to keep watching the show and see all the exciting things that happen out there. Well... It is so exciting. And, you know, the fact that you're the fourth contestant on the show's history to not bring a fishing line and hooks. But, I, you know, I'm not worried because <laughs> you know what you're doing. you got better ways. You, you can do this. Yes, I'm uh, really uh, proud to show the skills that I have with the fishing net. Uh, I come from a Cree Métis background, of course, and we're the fishing net people. And I really wanted to be able to showcase those skills. And the fishing net is a great way to do passive fishing. You throw in the fish net, and then you can spend all your time picking berries, medicines, hunting, and everything else that you need to do while you're out there. So I was really um, proud to show that. All right. Well, a reminder that Alone airs tonight at 10 p.m. on the History Channel. It is available to stream on Stack TV as well. Michaela, thank you so much for this. We appreciate it. We'll be watching.